How many children do you have with white men? Don't you have multiple children by white men? You know what? I wish, but that has nothing to do with the conversation. Now you're turning this around about me when I no, came because, in here no, in no, peace. No, 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 we're not being hostile. Why talking about what you do? That's not hostile. Why do you consider it hostile? You, you lay up with white men and you brag about it. That's you. You brag. I'm not being hostile. You've bragged about all the white men you laid up with. You've taken pictures in bed throwing up signs with white men. I'm not being hostile. You've done that. Am I being hostile? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Like, honestly, but you're you're trying to make this about something that I didn't call about. Right. But why, but why, why are you why, offended? Because why do, are you offended? Do you know that black out? men have well, the most down. amount of HIV? Why would a late with a black no, man? Like, do, no, they see, don't. You, no, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. It's y'all tether women who do that. It's tether women who have it because y'all lay it with them nasty zaddies. Exactly. You, you, you just don't. You just told another lie. No, no, no. Black men do not have HIV like that. There's a lot of black women, and most of those black women are tethers who have it, and they get it from them damn zaddies. Because y'all lay up with any white man you can find to get your damn green card. We're gonna tell the truth in here tonight. I, okay, because black people can't do no wrong because you're fucking innocent. Right? I mean, you can't do anything. You guys don't have AIDS. You guys don't kill your kids. You guys don't commit crimes. You know, you guys know how to read. You guys are just so fucking perfect and innocent. You're melanin. You know, you built Africa and you're so supreme. And you know, Egypt and, and oh my God. And actually, you even built Britain. You're just so fucking supreme. But Chicago is still a piece of. I just don't understand what you guys are doing. It's better than the so But it doesn't matter what. Why is Chicago better than the Dominican Republic, your homeland? How come you ain't over there, though? Why you... Your whole baby mother is getting mixed. Why are you making this shit about race? He's foundational black American. It doesn't... I didn't come here for that. You're doing he this shit for views. You really fucking don't even... You don't like black people, bro. You hate your people, You ain't bro. black. Ain't no I like black people. You ain't one of them. You are, you're not... You're a tether, ma'am. You're not black. Yo, ain't no... I'm what, babe? What state here? You're the one bragging about, you brag about laying up with white men. I'm not even being hostile. You, the one throwing up Hitler signs and all that because you lay up with white zaddy, that's you. You're making this about views. Once again, you really don't care about your own people because all you're doing is talking me down, but everything I'm saying is correct. I'm not here being hateful. You're making I'm it about white daddy. Why are you so concentrated on white men? Are you, are you a fan? Why do you man, care about my white daddy so bad, dude? Why is man, that even an issue to you? I, but, like, are you so talking, oppressed by but, white talking, man? You you thinking about but, the name? But you no, know, calm down, because now you just you're being a filthy skank, just like you were back in your homeland, walking up and down the track all day and damn all night. So that decorum of yours, you were the one talking about black people this and black people that. And you're coming from the perspective of a little musty bed wench, man. That's why you're saying that. Okay? Right. So you're getting mad because people Larry, are pointing out... You're, you're, you're so predictable. You've been doing this for years. And it's the same like shit. What? It's like it, it's the storyline. Story you and, and your people, that's all you guys say. Oh, you fled. You're a band rant. You did this. But you still ain't shit. So it's like, it's like you're it's like retarded. Like you guys... Did you say, did you say a bed wrench? You can't even talk that good. You you work that mouth so much in the Dominican Republic, they'd have knock your tonsils loose. You, your tongue is tied. You can't even talk all that. Them domes, you were doming no down. No shit. I'm not from this country, but you guys still, your kids still can't read. Why are you coming at me when I can't? Our kids can read. They they, they can read better than yours. Okay, they, they know how to stay their ass at home and not flee. Okay, they know that. Okay. And did you ever get your wig fixed? Because y'all Dominican girls are supposed to have them Dominican presses and them Dominican blowouts. So but now you're being a fit once again and talk about... No, 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 no. Stop projecting. That's your dad. That's your dad who left you. Um, you're supposed to, as a Dominican... But you're talking about my hair. What? Right. Why Why do you be having them crooked wigs and you Dominicans are supposed to be having the, the fly Dominican blowouts and you don't have one? So what happened? What, why don't you have a Dominican blowout? Why do you keep why, why do you keep muting me? Because you're because, because you're, you're, you can't because, really have a conversation besides because, writing because, jokes. Because you're, you're because you because ma'am, you're you have you're a, a clown. You're a clown. Why can we yeah, have a conversation? Ma'am, ma because you have 
filthy you have a filthy potty mouth because you used to work the track over there in your homeland and you have that funky, skanky street bedwinch mindset. And we don't want to have that infused over here, sir. You don't have no ma'am, I'm sorry, ma'am. You just don't have no decorum. That's what I, I would like. You don't to do really care about your people. And it's really sad. I wish the best for the black community. You guys think that I hate you. And I really don't. Listen. I really come from a good place. And it just shows how you ignorant do? you are that you're bashing me. And the only thing you could talk about is white man and my daddy. Like, I, yeah. I, 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 you're I, the one you you're the one who brag about white okay. men to stay up with. You do that. You're the one Bye, who's always boy. online yeah. bragging about all the white I got okay. Can I play a song from our album for you? I got a song just for you. Can I play it, ma'am? Lolita, do you mind if I play one of the songs? This song, can I get a, can, can I get permission to use You're one so of your childish? You're a reflection. No, no, can, I, can I get permission to use one of your pictures for this song here? Hold on, Lolita. You're very creative, very <laughs> creative, very funny. It's no, 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 no. You know what? And it's very sad because it's 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 very it's sad that you have your minions and this is a, the way you people think as a whole. That's the way we think. But, but, Lolita, it's Lolita, Lolita, but listen, Lolita, 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 Lolita. No, I think, no. Lolita, but, but, don't, I, but, you're, but you, are, you are the one who sits here bragging about all the white men you live with and how these white men are so... I have never, I have never bragged about that. You're Lolita. lying on me. I have Lolita. never said nothing like that. Lolita, you I said I said white men are better. I never bragged. That's that's bragging. Which that's a true statement. Okay, that's called bragging. No, that's not bragging. That's a what? That's a true statement. You say that you're oppressed. You say that you live under white supremacy. So why the f not, not say that white men are better? You're saying that you're so you're already admitting it to yourself. You're you, playing games with me. You mean, you're you're psychotic. You're no because you're not. You're you're already saying that you're oppressed, oppressed and butt broken by white men. Just like the men in your country. So That's you're what, ashamed me. Just like your just dad, like, man, just like your daddies and uncles back in your homeland. The the Spanish whooped that ass and oppressed you, and to the point where you have to leave. They didn't give you nothing. You didn't really fight back like that. So that's why y'all have to flee. You don't have nothing back in your homeland, but but hot dogs, hoeing, and drugs. So you don't have anything. And you're over here under foundational black Americans, ma'am. So how does that feel? You know, hmm? the thing is that you're turning a, a very amazing group mm -hmm. of people into shits with your mentality. Your mentality is toxic and it's negative and you're ruining the mentality so? of, of, of black so, people thinking so? that they are oppressed. These people are not oppressed. But okay, they're not oppressed and they don't need reparations. Ma'am, so... Were you not oppressed to the point where you had to flee your homeland, ma'am? Why did you have to flee the Dominican Republic? This is you're by you're ignorant and you're ma'am, ma'am. You're using potty potty mouth words. Um, why did you have to flee, ma'am? Every time somebody bring up the fact that you uh, you talking about somebody's not oppressed, but you are so oppressed that you had to flee. You want to start using derogatory names, ma'am? Come on now, have some decorum, dear. That's a projection. Tariq, fine. Fine. Make me the bad guy. Make, make me the bad person. That's all you guys know, know what to do, where I stand with you people. And I came here for the fun and the giggles. And you will remain at the bottom where you are. You're deleting your people. So do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. No, and, let me have um, let me have brother that's Eric. It. There's nothing to talk about. You're you're, Eric, you're oh, and you Eric, and, and I was very Lolita, respectful. Slow down. I crooked, was very respectful. Wig, I didn't wig. even call you a anything. I was very nice. Crooked. I was very demure. I was very nice. Okay, but all you do okay, is call well, me a whore. No, uh, Ma'am, come on. You this bedwinch babble. Calm down. You bedwinch babbling. Calm down, boy. Y'all bedwinches. Because y'all so used to slave play with them zaddies. Everything is about filth and. Just everything is just so uncouth because Zaddy being there tying you up, throwing empanadas at your crooked wig. So you just do all types of weird stuff with white Zaddy. Just calm down, ma'am. Act like you got some decorum. Eric, let's get EJ in here real quick. What's up, brother Tariq? How you doing? I'm good. How you doing, EJ? We, we got Lolita on this phone. What's up, brother? I uh, see. She's the type of dude. She's the type of um bed ones that be getting smashed out while snorting Goya powder from the back. But you can't really pay none of these bed ones bitches no attention. 
This is the problem with a lot of these, you know, musty tethers. She comes from the side of the Dominican Republic. She don't come from the uncode side of the DR. She's the type of person, if she was a little kid in her childhood, she'll be playing with white Barbie dolls. If one of her parents were giving her a black Barbie doll, she'll just look at them and discuss. She is the combination of dick cheese, dildo residue, and horseradish. You can't really pay nasty on bed when she's like, there's no attention. And I can't, um... Look, but see on your page, ma'am, because you do have a niggas from Trump um t-shirt on. What's up with that? You talking about black Americans being all types of niggas and you been getting smashed out on your OnlyFans by white dudes. You seem like the type of female that'll be on ghetto gaggers. I don't know if you know what that is, though, but it sounds like you'll be that type of chick that'll be getting thrown. Thrown up, I, up and wait, spit on. Can, can you, I didn't interrupt you, you Bet Winch. Bet Winch, I didn't interrupt I, you. Calm down a minute. Calm down now. We know I, that Bet Winch is like you um, do sex slave role plays and be getting just, pistol whipped outside your head with whips and stuff. I know that the pain is really um life threatening for you when you have these white zaddies around you choke you out for uh, imp empanadas and loose change. But this just goes to show you, FBA family, that she's not on code with even the black Dominicans that are on code in her homeland. She has to get down and lay down and just get on like um an unstable bed winch. And you can't really take unstable <laughs> creatures like this really seriously because he came up here disrespectful. We already know that Jews are white. Judaism is a religion. You just can't be separating a cracker from <laughs> Jewish people because they have a white supremacist mentality. The ones that don't um practice that we're cool with them and then they call out the real people that actually out here doing that bullshit you know dominicans like loretta i mean the um dominican bad witch they so used to getting pistol whipped outside their head with um expired boxes of goya powder that they don't understand the difference between being on code and staying you know on their knees face down ass up she's pop locking it and dropping it for any white supremacists who throw five dollars worth of loose change at them but besides that I'm just going back to the um listening session because this bed which is really um clogging up my brain. The um funk and the must and the stench coming um, from Miss um, Holetta. Um, 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 Strike two um, bed um, witch. Um, Calm um, down, um, bed witch babble, um, bed witch babble, so are you bed witch babble. Clock? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like I'm in third grade. Uh, um, uh, Ben, which it's 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 this the same repetitive conversation that you people have. It's so low, low IQ. You can't say anything intelligent. It's a uh, 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 Ben, which uh, 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 uh. It's the same thing over and over again. Why can't you guys actually come up with something intelligent that we could talk about besides saying that I fled? I'm a I'm a bad ranch. It's the same thing. Oh, you said we ain't got intelligence, so you can't even pronounce bedwinch right. That's what. Because I'm not from this king country. Okay, I got it. Hello. <laughs> so you can make fun of me all I want. I, I could talk but to I you. Know in Dominicans who, but I know Dominicans who can say bedwinch. You just can't talk worth a damn. But no. Okay. That's okay. All right. Okay. Hey. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. You, you're still, we, you, we still love you. We still love you. We're going to pray for you. Okay. But anyway, dude. You want to pray for me? Yeah, we're going to pray some of that Bedouin spirit off of you. We're going to pray it off you. Yeah, and we're going to pray for a better wig so that cricket. Sorry, ain't your baby mother also half white? Yeah. Like, what's going yeah, but, on? And, and half FBA. Yeah, so, oh my God. FBA. It's the double standard <laughs> and the hiccup. Don't you see? You're woman. so ignorant. I, I got a, I lay up with a black woman. You lay up with a, a zaddy with, with lice, ma'am. So you're different. We, you're not like us. So you're a racist. So it's. Racist? So it's okay when you're a racist, but it's a problem when racist I do it. Racist to who? You're fucking racist. No, my fucking racist. Who's racist, little muscle gal? Yeah. No, uh, you, my God, you're a fucking racist. Your mouth, and I'm going to be a racist your, because you're watch a racist. Your mouth. Watch your little, You're talking watch, shit. Watch your, okay, when, oh, when you start talking about Zaddy, boy, them bedwinches get defensive, don't they? Well, them bedwinches will break a bottle on your ass when you say something about Zaddy. Hold, hold on now. I might be a bed wrench, but don't you say nothing about the white man. How dare you? I should kill you. This is why we different, ma'am. This is why we're different. You ain't like us, ma'am. That's why we delineate. But you say something about a white man, boy, you get in attack mode. Your crooked wig just slides right on off the side of your ears. You don't know what to do. You dig? You, you're all tie tongue. You, you getting crazy for Zaddy. Look at you. You getting all hostile and hot and bothered? Somebody say something about Zaddy now. Damn. Stop, yo, stop muting me. You stop muting me because I'm talking and I don't appreciate you. You're lucky I'm here talking to your crowd. You're lucky I came up. Damn, that, 
You worthless. You're, dark, ma'am, you're, darker you're lucky than I'm here. Let me ma'am, fucking finish. Ma'am, you're darker than me. Because first of all, that, for, you don't even de- you don't ma'am, even okay, disturb me. That, that doesn't offend me. You you using the N word with the hard E R, ma'am. You you're more N word than me. You're way darker than me. You try to use them filters because you can't really afford cake soap, so you have to use cake soap filters. You know, you know what? Speaking of your cake soap, because yeah, you're about ten shades darker than you really are. You know, what? we got we got a, a cake soap song on the the album too. By the way, can I play you that real quick? Oh, did she leave? Hold on, we got a whole bunch of songs with these tethers in bed. Hold on, I think she left. I think she did leave, Mister. Yeah, Tariq. hold on one second. Let me let me get you. But yeah, yeah, I gotta play this song. We got a song. <laughs> We got a whole bunch of songs for these tethers. Um, she's a cake soap bed wench. Let me let me play this. This song is called Cake Soap Love. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that that I gotta admit that was entertaining, Tariq. Um, I I've been following you for a couple years now, yeah. ever since your first Vlad uh, Vlad TV interview. Oh yeah. And um, yeah, and you were very very intelligent te- intelligent gentleman. Um, I didn't get to cast the DNC. Unfortunately, it's only because I've been so uninspired with the Democratic political party. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And and uh, man, I just got to say, it's, 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 it sounds bad, but I'm more leaning toward Team Trump. I don't know what it is. I don't know people, what it is. A lot of people are. A lot of people are. Lot yeah. Of people are. yeah. Well, what are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on that? Are you, uh, as far as political parties go, as far as candidates? You have any preferences? No, I'm, I'm right there in the middle, man. I'm I'm right in the middle. I'm undecided, but uh-huh. see, nobody has officially really offered us anything yet. They haven't said this uh-huh. is what we're going to do for the black community. Trump has kind of played with it, and I really want to hear what he has to say. I really want he was uh-huh. he was going there at the NABJ, then they start acting like some damn Democratic shills, um, on uh-huh. Goofy, but I wanted him to elaborate on. On what he would do. And, you know, at the DNC thing tonight, they were mocking that whole black job thing. Um, they were kind of making jokes about it. Okay. It's corny. I, we, yeah. I want to hear about some black jobs. We need some damn black jobs. We need people talking about providing black jobs. Damn. So, yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I'm right there in the middle. Trump, if Trump offers some tangibles, I, I might rock with him. Um, another another point. I'm ever since Kanye said slavery was a choice. You know, it was a big shock. But then a couple years later, I got to thinking like, okay, I kind of understand what he was saying in a sense that uh, where during the slavery times on the plantations, there were probably a couple white people and like hundreds of black people. And you know, when you look at like the situation, there could have been revolts. There could have been you know, a revolution of some sort, but I guess the mentality in all of us as being slaves at that time was, uh, we felt lower than, so I mean, what do you, what are your thoughts on that? Was slavery a choice? What is your whole take on that? That's, and that's a, that's a very good, good question. And what I take away from that is that in a sense, it was a choice because we could have got our damn freedom. We could have got our freedom. Um, some black people did, and they maintained their freedom. You always hear me talk about the Great Dismal Swamp. It was more difficult. But the thing is, a lot of people didn't want to go all the way there with it because it's going to have to be some bloodshed. They understood it's going to have to be bloodshed in order to get our freedom for real, for real. We got to go there. Not only that, once we get our freedom, then we're going to have to work a little bit harder now because let, let's let's be very clear. Being an independent person running a business and just doing for yourself, that's a lot of work. Having a nation building mindset, that's a lot of work, family. So a lot of folks don't want to do all that. Let me tell you something. My black business owners who are in here, you know what I'm talking about. Some people think, well, hell, it's just easy for me to just work a job. I ain't got to think. I just got to go in here for eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, and let this white guy tell me what to do. And they give me a check. I'd pay my little rent, pay my car note, give me some food, and then let the white man handle all the hard work. And I go in here and do these little eight hours, 
after work, I go home, go to sleep, keep work out of mind, and then go back the next day, and the weekend is all mine. Yeah? Some people with that mindset, and there's nothing wrong with having a job. I'm not knocking anybody for having a job. But when you juxtapose that to a black person running a business, see, you don't have that mindset. You don't. It's harder when you run a business. You don't have just eight hours. Sometimes you up in the middle of the night. You ain't just going in, just doing some work for a few hours a day. You got to get up sometimes at four or five in the morning and sometimes stay to seven, eight at night. You got to do payroll. You got to run taxes. You got to maintain your inventory. You got to make sure the city permits are in order. You got to have business meetings with the city council people. You got to be clicked in with the political um, city council people in your area. You got to deal with repairs and you got to deal with the air conditioning people, the pest control people, with the lighting people. If there's a doorknob or something missing, you got to go get handyman. You got to deal with the plumbing situations. So there's a lot more responsibility than you got to do security for your place if you need security at some point. Then decorating and just a lot of stuff. You there? And then you got to advertise your business. Then you got to promote your business. You got to get the word out there. And then you got to deal with your clients and making sure the clients get the products that they need. On top of all of that other stuff, they'll just putting the products together. That's the easy part, just selling the products. All the other stuff is way hard, you see? So that's the same thing with nation building. During slavery, you got to understand the black people who were in these sanctuary areas like the Great Dismal Swamp, which was a nation within a nation where they maintained their freedom. It was very hard for them to do that. You're living in a swamp. You had to have secret codes to get in. You had to obtain weapons by difficult means. You had to bury people a certain way where the, the smell wouldn't come up. You had to be able to avoid hunting dogs, you had to have secret codes and um, secret signals. You, you had to have lookouts and people securing the borders of your sanctuary city during slavery. So some black people said, hell, it's just easy for me to stay on this plantation with Massa. You know? Now, if all people said, hey, we want to have the mindset of the people in the Great Dismal Swamp, they could have done it. They could have got rid of slavery. But that meant they would have had to put in a lot of work, nation building. And sometimes people think nation building is just too much damn work. That's why when people like me and us on the grassroots, when we're talking about doing things and making power moves, a lot of Negroes get scared because that means they're going to have to get on our vibe. That means you're going to have to put the PlayStation down. When you see us kicking in the door, getting stuff done, you're like, uh-oh, that means I got to step mine up. Oh, well, damn that. You, know, you need to sit down. You know, Then we they start taking shots because now we're, we're setting a precedent where it's time to get up off our ass and start getting stuff built. You see, and a lot of folks don't want to do that. So it's easier to sit up there and just kind of tear down stuff and criticize than to get with the program and everybody get like a little network of business people making things happen. So I get the whole slavery was a choice thing in that respect. That's what I see it as. I hope Kanye didn't mean anything else. I don't know, but that's the way I look at it. It is. But we here, man, you guys who's listening to me, we're like-minded people. We're on the same page. If you're listening to me, that means you're on the same vibe of nation building and empowerment. So you guys are doing 80% better than most people out here in the community. You dig? Unless you're hate watching or unless you're some kind of angry tether like that musty, crooked wig Lolita. Sometimes we get hate watchers, people who fled like her, an angry fleeing bed wench, sitting up here laying up with a zaddy, trying to use the hard ERN word on us like you ain't darker than us. 
like Zaddy don't be calling you that. That's not offensive. You're the one stuck in the house with a musty, flea-ridden Zaddy. That's you. Doing slave play and race play, because you know that's what you do. Lolita. You know he puts you in a little cage. He got you in a little cage somewhere. Throwing taco sauce at your ass. Doing all types of degrading stuff. That's why you're so hostile. You secretly want a black man to come save you. We ain't about to save you. When people, see, this is what I'm talking about. When people try to pull that Kamala thing, how come black men don't defend Kamala? Where the black men to defend Kamala? This is this is why I ain't defending no damn Kamala. And her zaddy, let her zaddy defend her. You see, now y'all hear Lolita? That's your Kamala right there. Uh, a foreign bed wench. Could you imagine Lolita as president? Can you imagine that? I tell you, bed wenches are very dangerous, man. Bed wenches are dangerous. So black folks sitting up here with all this catfish nugget and dancing and all this stuff at the DNC. Y'all better understand when you're dealing with a bed wench and the mindset that comes with that. These bed wenches are dangerous. You land up with them damn zaddies. And then they try to shame us like we're supposed to defend Kamala Harris and she ain't done a damn thing for us. I ain't defending nothing. And this Lolita chick, she just proved why we shouldn't defend none of that nonsense. Anyway, let me get up out of here. I know it's a lot of us in here. Much respect to you guys. It's been a, we've been in here for a long time. Yo, this is a clip of that Dominican divester that was hating on Tariq last time. She probably just got done doing a Ghetto Gaggers video. She probably got sent there by her queen, Cynthia G. She probably trying to find some of them passport bros. And I'm not even going to show y'all the stuff they be doing for a green card. But that's all I really got to say about this video. Make sure to leave a like, a subscribe, and a comment down below. Follow me on Twitter. That's where I'm the most active on. And also, make sure to follow me on Rumble. That's where I post videos in case they get taken down on here.